unexpected. I think I am pregnant. Unbelievable. Well, how? All that standing about, waist deep in icy water. Keep your ghoulies cold. And unconfirmed. We go down to the chemist, you perform in a bottle, and within seconds, we know. So will there be a little chef tomorrow, 9.30 on BBC One? Could her children be the subjects of a strange scientific experiment? Could Grace be under fire? BBC Two has the answers in about three minutes. Ever since its opening in 1910, the London Palladium has been famous for comedy and for laughter. Where is the hottest part of the sun, page three? Love for variety and for entertainment. Hello, playmate. Hello. Oh, really? Let's say good night, Gracie. Good night. And renowned for its many stars. It's the most famous theatre in the world, and I think bar none. Join Paul Merton and the cast of hundreds who have shared the Palladium story beginning Sunday at 8 on BBC One. Here on BBC One in half an hour, Crime Limited focuses on the parents of a murdered teenager who are campaigning to have abolished the unique Scottish verdict of not proven. And that's after the news now on BBC One with Peter Sissons. It's nine o'clock. The man accused of killing Rachel Nickell has been freed after the case against him was savaged by an Old Bailey judge. Colin Stagg heard the judge accuse the police of blatantly trying to trap him into confessing. Six people have been killed by the collapse of a walkway at a Channel Ferry terminal. And a significant advance in the treatment of breast cancer. Scientists have isolated the gene that causes it to be inherited. Good evening. The man accused of the brutal murder of Rachel Nickell on Wimbledon Common two years ago today walked free from court before the trial proper had even begun. The judge at the Old Bailey threw out the prosecution case after days of legal argument without a jury. The case against the accused, Colin Stagg, depended on the evidence of an undercover policewoman who had befriended him. Today, Mr Justice Ognall said the police behaviour betrayed not merely an excess of zeal, but a blatant attempt to incriminate a suspect by positive and deceptive conduct of the grossest kind. Tonight, Scotland Yard, while refusing to comment on the judge's rebuke, said it regarded undercover work as one of its most necessary and productive investigative methods. After more than a year in custody, accused of a murder that horrified Britain, Colin Stagg emerged from the Old Bailey declaring his innocence. He was asked the question, did he kill Rachel McHale? No, I didn't. 